Psalm 84 verse 7. Psalm 84 verse 7. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them appeared before God. Every one of them in Zion appeareth before God. God is a God of speed. He's a God of acceleration. He is a God on the move. Identification with God, therefore, is identification with motion. It is not possible not to move. Not to see speed once you are connected to God. So tonight is our night for supernatural speed. As we are experiencing shift on every side, we are going to also be experiencing supernatural speed. How long it took you to reach where you are now in life? Where you are going to reach by this time next year will make all that you have achieved in life like shadow. Many of us will take a step and see the result of a thousand steps. Supernatural speed. Many of us will see in a month what some don't see in, in a year. If you believe, I say it loud, amen. amen. What is the secret of supernatural speed? There are many of them, but I'll mention five. Number one is the life of vision the life of vision Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1 he said I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may sit that readeth it that he may crawl that readeth it that he may struggle that readeth it no every visionary is a, a runner in the realm of the spirit that he may run that's read it every time god shows you what he wants to do with your life he has given you the secret of speed that he may run that readed it. Men of vision run where others mark time because they are seeing what others don't see. That vision, that thing God wants to do with your life that will make you to run. Before the fast is over, you will see it. That dimension of financial explosion, that dimension of anointing explosion that will make you to run, God will show it to you before the fast is over. And he will even show it to somebody here tonight. If you believe, say amen. amen. The life of vision. Number two, the hand of God. 
When God lays his hand on a man or woman, speed is the outcome. First Kings chapter 18 verse 46 And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah and he guarded up his loins and ran. When the hand of the Lord is upon a man, running is inevitable. In case you are crawling currently, beg God for his hand. And before the hand of the Lord can touch you, there should be some level of intimacy. Because it takes closeness. It, it takes intimacy for you to experience his touch. I don't want to worship from afar. Draw me near to where you are. I just want to be where you are in your dwelling place forever. Take me to the place where you are. I just want to be with you. Intimacy. upon me Lord lay your hands on me lay your hands on me oh Lord I need your hands lay your hands upon me Lord lay your hands on me lay your hands on me Oh Lord, I need your hands. Lay your hands upon me, Lord. Lay your hands on me. Lay your hands on me. Oh Lord, I need your hands. Something just, Lord, I need your hand on me. I'm tired of crawling. I'm tired of hanging around. The hand of God. Number three is the power of the Holy Spirit. how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and power and he went about he went about it. He, he just, he became restless. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he became restless. It was not possible for him to be confined. When your destiny is arrested by the devil and you switch to the frequency of the Holy Ghost, you are turned restless by the Holy Ghost. When you are anointed and fired by the Holy Ghost, you are too restless to be arrested. No, no, no. You are too, you are too, you are too restless in the spirit to be arrested by the devil. Beloved brothers and sisters, whatever you do, don't slow down. Don't slow down. Whatever you do, fire on in the Holy Ghost. Whatever you do, don't let your prayer life, your, your communion with the Holy Ghost drop. Because the power of the Holy Ghost is a trigger. For speed the life of vision the hand of God the power of the Holy Spirit number four is the power of the covenant we read that yesterday how Isaac sowed 
in the land of the Philistines. And the Lord blessed him. Genesis 26, verse 12. Then in verse 13. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great. He went forward. Progress, motion, speed by the power of the covenant. You cannot be a sower and be slow in life. No. You can't be a giver and be grounded. I've proved it from my own life. You can move your life from where you are by the aggressivity of the covenant. The power of the covenant. And finally, the grace. The grace of God. If you live with vision and you connect the hand of God and you engage the power of the spirit and you provoke the power of the covenant and you walk in the grace of God you will see speed how do I know that grace brings speed 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and in verse 9 Paul the apostle said I am the least of the apostles such that I am not even qualified to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was in me. That is, I overtook Peter. Who was in front of me? I wasn't there when Jesus walked on the earth. I was around, but I wasn't among them. When they denied him, I wasn't there. When they crucified him, I wasn't there. When they received the baptism of the Holy Ghost in the upper room, I wasn't there. That initial revival, I wasn't there. I even persecuted them. I blocked their road in Acts chapter 9. Followed them to Damascus, but I was arrested on the road. And then returned back. And after a while, I had an encounter. And then grace came. And I overtook those who were there. He was the late comer that became the front liner. By grace. By the grace of God. I am what I am. Don't feel bad that people are in front of you just connect grace don't struggle with who went ahead of you or who finished before you or who is doing what before you forget about that just connect with grace grace will grant you speed it will grant you ease i have seen grace i am seeing grace Anything that can grant you grace will grant you speed. Anything. However you can get at grace, you can get at speed. That we are classmates doesn't mean we are life mates. No. No. If you don't, if you are not in touch with the grace I am in touch with, we are not in the same class. <laughs> Anything that can make you get grace will give you unusual speed. And one of it is what I mentioned yesterday. God resisted the proud, but he gave it grace. To the humble. James chapter 4 verse 6. Take your sin. He giveth grace. To the humble. Calm down. Drop your shoulder. I was talking to one young man the other day. I said. You 
you are proud because of what now? O on what account now? Because of what? Okay, let's analyze everything. On the basis of what are you raising your shoulder now? On what? School you didn't do. What is the aim of the shoulder now? See? Calm down. Let's calm down. The journey is far. God wants to take you very high. But the little help he has given you, you are over, you are over boastful, ostentatious, arrogant, can't greet people. Full of self, empty of God. Calm down. Just calm down. Do you know who you are talking to? Do you know who I am? Who are you? Thus shall return back to the earth as it was. You know, when I was in the university, I was very rugged. You know, I'm going to go to the bathroom to Baba. I say, I'm going to water the dust. I said such things to permanently remind myself of how dusty we are. Anything that can give you grace will give you speed. One of it is humility. You give it grace to the humble. Another one is helplessness. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. Let us come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. That helplessness that sponsors prayerfulness. That kind of without you I am nothing. That kind of Lord if you don't help me I am finished. That kind of Lord there is nothing I am or I can do that is anything without you. That level. Helplessness. I was going out of the church the other day. One woman said, please lay your hands on my husband. Lay your hand. Just use your hand to touch. I said, my hand. What is my hand? Just touch. Just, just what your hand. I prayed on a bottle of oil. And I anointed. Say, and pour on him. He said, no, your hand. Direct your hand. You need to know how helpless I feel outside of God. My greatest strength is the density of God's presence. I rely on it so much. Anything that cannot happen at that time, the other ones are just minimal. 99.9% .9 of results we have seen happen in the climate of God's presence. Not because of one-on-one -on -one personal contact. 99.9%. .9 are you hearing what I'm saying here today? Very, very helpless. That helplessness, it makes you pray like you are drinking water. You can't be prayerless if you are helpless. You are, you are just unusually prayerful. Because you know you are gone without God. That will fuel grace. And grace will give you speed. Did somebody hear something tonight? We are going to rely on him in absolute helplessness again tonight. And just proceed into worship with him. To let him know without him, we are nothing. If you have a testimony, please let one of our officers know tonight. Live a life of vision. Connect with the hand of God. Connect with the power of the Holy Spirit. Connect with the power of the covenant. Apply for grace. I am nothing without you. And you will see results. I know from yesterday night we have several testimonies. Wherever you have a testimony, please let our officers know and it shall be taken tonight. Lift up your hands and just thank him for his grace and mercy. Mm -hmm.